Action. Couple left, stop. Panic around, panic around, panic around. My name is uh, Issa Rogers. I am the main writer and script supervisor for Life on Earth. Yeah, and uh, what did, how did this post project start? Okay, so like I actually was trying to create my own short film and I met up with Manny over, uh, we linked up over on uh, social media and I sent him the script that I was working on and he liked it. And he was like, you know what, instead of just doing a short film, why not, you know, let's make it a mini series, you know, can you do more? you know, scripts like this. So uh, it was really a, a quick process or quick by like film production standards. It took only like two, three weeks. You know, it was like a lot of dialogue, a lot of back and forth, but yeah, 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 it was it was cool. You know, that's yeah. how it all. And uh, the very short story that you made, uh, that was the very first episode we shot, right? Yeah, yeah, Bad Date. It was, uh, I was actually planning on doing something I was planning on doing that as just a short film, but he was like, nah, man, just make it an episode. And I added a little bit of changes to act for continuity purposes for the rest of the, the season. And that's how it all worked out. All right. Uh, what inspired you to write The Bad Date? Was this based on a bad nah, date? Was nah. this based on a friend of yours? No, actually it wasn't. I just wanted to write something that um, was, uh, you know, the original, the original screenplay was actually a little bit more comedic than the final product. And I thought that was that was something fun to make, but you know, rewrites happen and stuff. But it, it's cool. It's right. Cool. Overall, the experience of writing the story and then seeing seeing what you had in page, how it came out in your head, did it end up different than what you saw in the overall end game of the process? Nah, it didn't come out different. Uh, I think, you know, of course, like actors are different and they all interpret it in different ways. But for the most part, it. Basically, how I wrote it, it came out like that on screen and in the process of actually filming it. Awesome, yeah. Manny. Yeah, so overall, you met Manny and he directed the project. How would you say his overall uh, directing process was? Do you learn anything from it? Um, oh, yeah, definitely. I learned a lot from Manny. I learned about, you know, set management, um, dealing with the actors, dealing with film locations. Uh, all types of things like you know being a director is much more than being a writer and I actually myself see myself more as a director than a writer so seeing somebody who has infinite more experience and, and knowledge in that field than me you know I, I, I'll learn everything I can from what you, great would you say that this is almost kind of like a, your film school yeah that's exactly how I would say, I would say it's my film school definitely very nice and what is it that you've learned through this process that you'll implement in your next project um, how to be efficient with cast, how to be efficient with the crew, how to properly put people in areas where they're able to succeed and not, you know, flounder or not know what they're doing, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Is it going to give you some experience when it comes to working with actors? Oh, yeah. You know, not every actor is going to be able to just pick up the script right away and be able to, you know, when it comes to filming, be able to do it. So... I learned about how to properly uh, motivate, get people ready, get people prepared, keep up morale, all that. What was uh, some things that you didn't expect to happen that overall happened during the shoot? Well, uh, what was it on the flashback episode, the kid not coming. Oh, yeah, not coming. <laughs> Him not coming was really, uh, yeah. it was crazy because I had to rewrite that script in like 30, 45 minutes. But I mean, I signed up for this. I I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Um, even though, you know, you, you expect everything's going to go as planned and... Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you just got to be prepared for any and everything and that's my mindset. Yeah, that's true. There you go. And overall, um, uh, what was the thing you loved most when it came to doing the shoot? Um, I guess the camaraderie between everybody. Like, everybody is chill with each other. There's no bad egos, no bad eggs. You know, there's a lot of people professionally trained, not professionally trained, who they can, you know, have an ego. They can not vibe well with the rest of the crew and thank thankfully we didn't have those issues.
I got you. Yeah, nothing but good. You know, I think that's the way that how we keep everything together, especially on set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Collaborate with people, learn new things. And overall, um, is there anything that was a challenge on set? Um, well, that first episode, I mean, due to COVID and everything, we haven't, we weren't able to do a face-to-face -face script reading or any, you know, chemistry building, anything. So, us meeting up on that first time for that first episode, it was, you know, people had to shake off the rust and get on their A-game, and it took a while, and that was a long, that was by far the longest shoot. And, uh, I mean, I guess that was the biggest challenge. I'm not complaining again too much. It was cool. I just take it as a learning experience for me. Exactly. It's a learning experience. Yeah, yeah. All right. Awesome. Um, what is it you expect uh, audience members to get out of the series? Um, well, from the show itself, I expect them to get a nice mix of different genres. You know, uh, there's a little bit of thriller, suspense, horror, some action pieces in there. So it's going to be cool. I think they, they should like it. expect people to get I guess unexpected like unexpected in each episode like just different types of things They'll that they wouldn't expect yeah They'll surprising be what's gonna happen yeah oh, okay. and so your father is Albert Alberto he's the director um, what could you say that has made this whole series unique uh, he's the director what can you say it's been like working with him how he directs it's actors. been pretty fun it's, it's good to like see like how everything works out and how like each episode goes and how like everything's set up. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Did you learn anything on set? Mm, just to, to have a good time, I guess. Did you learn anything new when it came to acting? Not really. I gotta say there was actually uh, one problem we did run into, right? Uh, when we were filming this episode? Do you remember that problem? No. Uh, we had to change everything. We had to change the script. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the script originally involved two people, basically, I guess, tying up and kidnapping this character. Mm -hmm. But it just ended up being you instead. Um, so, what was that like, you know, being on set, we all had to improvise. Uh, how, how, how was that experience? It was just different because there was supposed to be two people, and it was just surprising that it had to be me. So, uh, changed up the script and did the episode. Hey, but it worked right. I mean, you had yeah. to do a lot of heavy lifting. You had to be the person who basically mm -hmm. carried the shoes at the end of the day. So, uh, is acting something you're gonna want to go ahead and do sometime in the future? Yeah, it's pretty fun. I, I'll say, so. I would say so. Oh, especially when it comes to working with your father. Mm-hmm. Okay, awesome. He's a great uh, director. Yes, he is. Indeed. There's a lot about acting, lighting, just composition. Uh, you know, finally, one final note, is there any other uh, final words you want to contribute? No, just, it was pretty fun being in episode three and being on this show. Okay, it's pretty awesome. fun. Action! So that's it? You're just a fucking tease? I'm a woman with some self-respect. I'm not gonna fuck you in some junky treehouse. Hi, my name is Megan Lopez. I played Delia in episode one of Lies Behind Their Eyes. And your character, Megan, who is she exactly? Delia is this... Oh, Delia, my bad. Delia is this girl who is kind of best friends with one person. And then as soon as she starts liking this new guy, she decides to go on a date with him. And during the episode, the guy ends up being a jerk and forces her to do things that are not appropriate for a first date and he ends up getting his ass whooped. So no, okay. there's that. <laughs> awesome and a very interesting, interesting story. And this is of course the first episode. How did you come across this project? So I was actually referred to the director by a cast member I came out in a theater show with last year, um, Rocky Horror Picture Show that we do at Cino Ray. I was in the 10 year anniversary, or 10, 10 year, um, yeah, anniversary of the show. And um, they just, one day to the next, he's like, hey, uh, this director wants to cast you for something. I think you would be perfect. And I was like, okay. I messaged him, did a screen reading 
two days after and I got the role, so. <laughs> uh, uh, Alberto Ornales. Okay, and so this is your first time working with him? Yes, my first time working with him and I absolutely love it. Okay, I was just about to ask, what was that experience like? You said you loved it, uh, may you explain why? It was a lot of fun. We got to do a bunch of different crazy things. Um, I really liked, a lot of it was just like, some takes were just like, okay, we do one take, we're good. And then sometimes we'll do like takes over and over and over again, yeah, like my we're, running scene. We had to do a lot of takes. That, overall, I think that was our longest shoot before that. Yeah, that one went till four in the morning. We started at 5 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> that day, our first day of recording, and we didn't end until like four in the morning. And I remember us finishing the scene right before we go to the car and as soon as we got to the car, he was like, nah, I don't think we're gonna do the rest. I'm like, no, we're finishing oh, yeah. right now. We're doing it right now. We're gonna finish this. We're, I mean, it's already 3.30, we're going exactly. all the way. <laughs> I mean, it was already like three o'clock, might as well, right? It's yeah. Crazy. Awesome, but have you ever done in, uh, like a short film or a series like this before? So web series or short films, no, I have not. I've only done my own that we've had to do for like Spanish projects for high school or et cetera, but I've never really had to, or uh, had the chance to be in one. Okay. It was just all raw stuff we did for classes. Awesome. So you could say this experience like for your first time, it's kind of like an eye opener. Being, yeah. Like on set of a film? Yeah, um, it was definitely a lot of, I mean. A lot of things happened that were unexpected. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things like switched, yeah. like from how the script was and then once we got into it and you know, me falling by accident ended up being a really great shooting scene. And yeah. it's just like little things here and there where you know, it's going one way we envisioned and then someone does something and then it just switches automatically. And it's just really nice to to be able to, to be so loose and work with things so loose. Yeah. Yeah, and basically that all happened because you had a great director, you were working with Alberto, and so this is your first feature working with him. Would you ever work with him again? Oh, hell yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for all the new projects that are going to be coming up, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for us. Awesome. Uh, what do you think makes him stand out from working with other people? You've worked on I... plays and stuff, I'm pretty sure there's a director there. Is there a difference with directors that I guess work on roads? You know, like uh, it's very different doing something live in front of an audience and then doing something here because I know like for me I like getting that satisfaction being able to see people being able to like see the light in their eyes when I'm performing on stage because yeah. it's like there's there's it's live it's a live audience it's nice and then you you can see them participating you can see their reactions and then filming a short series it's like okay I forgot some of the scenes we recorded that first day, like doing our whole shoots. And then, you know, now I'm like, oh yeah, we had a bathroom scene. Oh yeah, we used my car. Oh yeah, we were here like, you know, doing our fight scene for like 40 minutes. Like you, like they, it just starts popping up and then you're just now waiting to see what the final project is gonna look like because you don't really get that satisfactory until the very, very end when we have the premiere. So it's just kind of like that lingering feeling of, Oh, when is it getting done? And and so it's just exciting. It's a different type of excitement. Oh. Have, have you actually gotten a glimpse of the project or the, the final project? Uh, maybe like a small clip? I haven't still? received a small clip. I have only maybe received a picture here and there, right? Um, of me, you know, just to see how things have been going. So it's nice. I get excited. Some of them, you know, uh, I am with LGBT, so having to kiss a guy <laughs> was something challenging for me. Um, it wasn't bad, but it was nice, and so a lot of the emotions, and, and it was all like natural. It wasn't, it, and it, everything was just, we got here, we knew our lines, and let's get it going. You know, we didn't practice how we were gonna do things before we did it, so 
That was a big, I liked that. I liked that a lot, working like that, so. You had to get a little bit out of your comfort zone, you could say. Yeah, but it was good, you know. Acting is acting, and you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, so. Yeah, exactly, so yeah, acting is acting. What was it like working with other actors? The actors you were on set, what was that like? It was fun, fun. Um, it was fun working with Gilbert, and it was fun working with Renee. Um, you know, that whole first day I was giving Renee a <laughs> hard time because. Why? Well, he, I've only read script one. And he doesn't even know what happens, like, the whole rest of the film. I'm like, we're, 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 what do you mean? You know, so the whole time I'm like, it's okay, you're going to die anyways. Like, you know, messing around the whole day. And then he doesn't die, actually. He doesn't end up dying. Lots of things change from the original script, but it's yeah. all good. And um, it was just, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, and I really, really enjoyed it. All right, awesome. Um, is there anything that you learned as an actress? being on the set? Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Even though like... Remember your lines? No, I wouldn't say remembering lines was like on, case, a, but... like on a scale of one to ten for me, remembering lines was like at a like two or three, like it wasn't really like that hard. But the whole like running and, and you know, doing things over and over <laughs> and repeating them over and over and over again with like different camera angles and only the feet this time, only the audio, only the sound. And so it, it was, it was good, you know. Um, it made me feel like just keep going and if it doesn't work one way, do it another way. And, you know, no matter what you do, it's always going to work out. What is harder, acting in the play? Or acting in film because to me a play you have to do everything pretty much like in one take if you blow it you blow it you blow it in the, on a set you can do it all over again so what's challenge more challenging for you because i'm assuming on a play that's like a walk in the park i like doing plays because there's a lot of like things that you have to practice for i mean last year for rocky we practiced from july all the way till october we practiced two times a week for three hours and we know the dress rehearsals, the makeup, and so like the blocking and, and the face, like, you know, like that, for that specific one, you have to be literally like the movie. So it's just a lot of repetition and stuff. And I like, I liked that because it was just like, you're set, you're easy, you're ready to go. And it's such a great feeling because once you do it so many times, you know, like, this is, this is it. This is what you worked for. And then versus doing it here, like, if you mess up one way, you know, you can always figure out another way to do it. Like, there's endless possibilities. You can shoot the same scene three different ways and, you know, be surprised by which, however it ends up coming out. So it, it's... I would say I, I like the, the vibe, because that's all I know yet for theater. But I cannot wait for the series to come out. So. What are you expecting audiences to get out watching this series? Intrigued. Um, I want the viewers to feel like it's a whole, I mean the whole, the whole series lies behind their eyes. Like there's like little things that we tell ourselves like every day um you know <laughs> mostly girls right more girls than guys but you know you, you tell yourself lies okay um if i'm at the gas station and someone's there i'm like okay keep calm everything's gonna be fine even if that person's like literally like stalking you and so like little things that like it's just weird i've had that personally happen to me i did not like it and so <laughs> just little things here and there that um you know you just could say it's something that yeah. people in your shoes could relate to, kind of. Yeah. yeah, I want them to be able to get scared. I want them to be able to feel a lot of things that happen in like everyday life. Some stuff that we decide to tell ourselves is, you know, gonna work out, but in reality, we really have to protect ourselves more than just lying to ourselves that we're just gonna be okay. So yeah. Perfect. A great way to <laughs> Awesome. Do you have any other contributions you want to lay down at I this interview? Mm, I just want to say thank you to all the cast and everyone here that's been helping. Uh, the screenwriter, the director, everyone. Every uh, You know, from our youngest cast member to our oldest cast member. For the witches that came in, I, even though I was only in one scene, um, it was still nice because 
I made a family here and I do know that there are future projects that are coming up that I will be working with them in and I'm really excited to see where that goes. You think this bitch gonna hurt me? He ain't gonna fucking hurt me! My name is Renee Leos. Uh, I play Sean. I'm a drug dealer in the show. Um, I heard about it from a good friend of mine, Alberto Manny. Um, he gave me an opportunity and I took it. Awesome. And how, why do you think he offered you the role? Well, I mean, I guess I'm an act. I mean, <laughs> I work with him and uh, so I'm always a clown and I guess he saw something in me that made him decide he wanted me in the show. So, I mean, he gave me an opportunity and I, I ran with it. Awesome, and you play Sean, correct? Yes. All right, what is Sean? Who is he as a character? Well, he's a deceiving drug dealer that does anything for power, in other words. Awesome, could you relate to any characters? And uh, a character like that? Uh, in any ways, you know? No, I don't yeah. think I can, no. You're not a person who wants power? No, well, yeah, but I mean, no, not really, to be honest with you. I got you. So you're no. pretty much the opposite of what this character is. Uh, yeah. How, how is it that you kind of became that? Like, what did you have to do? Like, how did you mentally prepare yourself for that? I don't know. I think I'm going outside my box on this one because I'm actually more of a clown, like a comedian kind of person. So when he gave me this role, I was like, I don't know if I can do it. But I mean, I think I'm pulling it off pretty good. So it's, it's something that's making me go outside my box in sort of words we had um, multiple takes we had a lot of shooting we started at 5 p.m and we pretty much ended around what 3 4 a.m yeah, yeah so we had multiple takes and uh, well actually because i mean this is my uh, second um time in a show like as acting um it was kind of hard i didn't remember my lines very much i really didn't um study them like the way i was supposed to to be honest with you, um, but um, as time went by, like I was the second show, I'm in the third episode, and the fourth, and the fifth, I just got to see how everybody else was doing it, and man, I, I uh, it clicked, you know, and I started learning from them, and and the, actually all the other actors were giving me tips here and there, so actually mm -hmm. I became really good at it, you know. Yeah, yeah, you actually got a little bit physical, you know, on set. You had to. Pretty much. Oh, you yeah. The yeah. You, were with, uh, <laughs> yeah. You, you had to do your own son. Yeah, I don't think he likes me. I really don't. He, he, that fucker hit me pretty hard. Oh, are you talking about the, the climax where the the other character, he basically hits you with the like the piece of glass? Yeah, yeah. Well, when, when he hit me, actually, uh, I had to, like, um, I couldn't sleep right that night, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> I, had to, I pulled out a little piece of the glass, but you know what? It's all part of it. And I would probably do it again. I mean, yeah. To, yeah. Do any, you do anything for the art of the film, right? Where's yeah, you, you know, um, sometimes you got you got to do what you got to do, you know. And, and it wasn't so bad, to be honest you with you. Jump off a cliff? No, not really. Hell no. You get on fire? <laughs> Fuck no. And do a stunt, a stunt drive? Well, you know, I mean, if I'm in the mood at that time, maybe, you know. <laughs> a couple of drinks, right? Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, maybe a couple of drinks. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. What was it like working with the actress? Um, It was hard, actually. Um. Well, my girlfriend didn't know I was going to kiss her, so um, I guess she's going to find out after this. So she was amazing, to be honest with you. Um, we actually, she, she, we all ended up having, getting a couple of bruises and, you know, um, you know, it was because it was pretty physical, mm -hmm. you know, um, but it was, I mean, in the end it was, it was all worth it. It was pretty good. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, one last thing. Uh, seeing how hard you worked on the series, how hard the cast and the crew worked on it. Yeah. Uh, what is it you want an audience to get out of this series and the episode you were in? Well, I mean, I, I'm I'm hoping that they enjoy all of us that were in the series, and I, I'm hoping that they uh, like it. They really enjoy it because I'm looking forward to working with them in other things, you know. And if they do, I mean, we'll, we'll kind of uh, help us do more, many more shows or many more uh, 
movies or something. I'm so grateful for the opportunity that was given to me. Everybody on the set always brought 110%. Um, you know, it, it it was just an amazing feeling. And I'm hoping that out of all this, we all grow and, and become something bigger than what we're doing. Daniel, that's what you said about the last one. Hello, my name is uh, Gilbert Santana. I play uh, Warren in uh, episode one of the six part series. Why were you offered this role as Warren? Well, I had to start off with, uh, with Albert being my real boss. He told me about this project that he was uh, working on. He wanted to become a, a filming and a director, producer, and uh, he told me about the little project he was doing that he pictured me as one of the, the, the casting actors. And very well, I was just like, yeah, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. And then it just week after week he would just tell me okay I want you to do it I want you to do it I'm like yeah well, just let me know when everything comes come together and started started getting clo closer to the date where I uh, started filming and that's how I got casted awesome uh, have you worked with Albert before yeah yeah we did a little uh, five minute little video of uh, um, it's called life life of a driver uh, it's, it's a life of a being a, a driver uh, for an 18 wheeler and it was just a little short snippet Nice. But that, that's about it. And that you would say was more just like a short experimental type of project, more almost like a documentary. Yeah, yeah, All basically, right. wasn't nothing to it, no, no lines, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is more like kind of like a thriller, a little bit of horror and some crime. What was it like getting into something like that? Even with the small role that you have, what was it like? Oh, it was just, it was just totally out of my element. Like I, I've never done nothing like this. So just learning everything, I was learning basically everything, you know, the, it's just not just re, uh, remembering lines, it's, it's everything, you gotta act them out a certain way, you know, you gotta make it, you gotta sell it, and just learning that was just, you know, took some time, but with future projects, I would uh, think I would just continue to get better and better. Oh, I got you. Is acting something you want to pursue in the future? Maybe uh, for fun or as a career? Right now, it, 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 right now for sure, it's for fun. Um, it's something that I would never even, <laughs> even have thought that I was going to do, you know, it just came out of the blue and I was like, screw it, let me get out my bubble. Mm -hmm. And so I tried it and for fun, for sure, for right now, you know, if things start to get um, better, you know, of course, I have the opportunity of, of joining some other projects. Yeah, I'll look into it and see if I can do it, you know. So, yeah, pretty excited about it. Yeah, you also do more on set. You're not just the actor. You do a lot of stuff when it comes to doing the wire work. Uh, the yeah, yeah. Plugging everything in, taking care of the lights. Yeah, that, um, basically, um, since I was just in the first episode, um, Albert, he wanted me, like, hey, contribute to helping him out with the lights, uh, wiring, camera, all that stuff, uh, boomer, boomer mic, all that. And, you know, I... I I said, yeah, I'll do it. Um, that way, I mean, I'll learn, learn everything, you know, how how the lights go, how the camera works, all that. What is it you, would, you want an audience to get out of this? Do you want them to be entertained? Do you want them to get scared? Do you want them to think? I mean, I just want them to in, enjoy, enjoy the, the six part series. I want them to pay attention to each character and really feel like if put them in, in, in that position or their favorite character and how would they feel about about how, how how would it be in, in real life you know I think once you you think about that it, it's just gonna change your mind about the whole the whole series in itself if you put yourself in that position and that's just how I did it to uh, remember the lines and how would I do it you know and I got into depth with the character and that's just the, the persona that, that I got into um, my name's Nevaleros and I act as a little girl starring in the end of episode three and the rest of episode four. Awesome. Uh, what are the names of the episodes? Um, the third one is the flashback, I think, and the fourth one is the All Mothers. All right. So you're playing the same character. What's your role in the flashback, and how does that play into when it comes to the All Mothers? Um, I play as a younger version of a woman. Um, I don't really know if I'm like, I because I know like I'm a. I'm a little creepy girl, like, I'm not sure if like I'm a demon or something, or something like that, but I go on to episode 4 as the sacrifice, but I get away. 
course. Okay. And what you had a lot more to do in the sacrifice, right? No, not the sacrifice. Uh, the awe mothers. Yes. Because you had just a small cameo in the flashback, in the hallway scene. What was that like? Doing that whole hallway scene. Hallway. It was like. It was nerve wracking because I know we had to like I had to like slide in and out from the doorway. Yeah. So much times and like I just had to slide and I had to do this so much times and it got like. Kind of embarrassing, but at the same time, I know it was going to turn out good because Manny's a good editor. So, also, what was it like working with uh, different actresses? It was a new experience, like everyone else said. Um, I got to meet a lot of new people from like different places, and yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. Did you find anything kind of difficult? Because I know we had a couple of moments where we did multiple takes of you escaping. Yeah, because when I would struggle. Like when I pretended I was struggling, um, it, I had to like make it more tighter because when I was struggling, it would get tighter and tighter every time. So we would have to like cut it and like undo it a little bit so it would make it easier to escape. What was it like seeing your dad act for the first time? Um, in the first episode, Bad Date, I was really, really, um, I got to see a different side of him. <laughs> um, yeah. When he was with uh, Delia, or Megan, of course. Um, I got to see a different side of him, and I've never seen him act that way, of course, so it's kind of like a new thing for me to see, especially from a person that raised me at a young age. But, um, yeah. Was it like more funny or scary? It had, some, it had a bit of good moments, right? It had a lot of variety. Yeah. What was it like when you saw your dad get attacked, or get basically, smashed with a rod of glass it was very scary because the only thing i saw was gilbert with the light and smashing it against my dad's back my dad's back and him just flopping to the floor and when we got home actually there was like a huge scar around his back that had like multiple scratches in the shape of a light hello my name is pedro mendoza and i will be playing the role of Petey in Lies Behind Their Eyes. Uh, I came upon this project through, uh, through Issa. Issa approached me about the project a few months ago and uh, after a while he finally came back to me and, uh, and was telling me that he was ready to, to shoot with everybody else. So I was down, I came, uh, I came down to Harlingen, I met uh, Manny, the director, the guy in charge, the Capitan, and we we connected really well. Like there, there's an energy there that's just unlike anything else I've ever experienced. And he has a drive and passion for this project and future projects. And that's what really attracted me to to really want to give Manny everything I've got and help this project come to life. Awesome. So you speak really highly of Manny. Could you could you say uh, has this been something you haven't had with? Working with other directors, uh, I've I've worked with other directors that have uh, a similar energy, but Manny has a, a fire in him and and he has a drive that you don't really see in a lot of people. But uh, when the, when when someone like that comes into your life, it's like you got to perk your ears up and and keep an eye on what whatever's going on because like this is going to be something that's just going to launch us into into so many other things that that's coming up manny albert he has a fire and a drive that is that something he's a director but uh, you're an actor that's something you can relate to right yeah uh i've been i've been acting uh since i was in the second grade how did you discover you wanted to be an actor how did i discover that i wanted to be an actor yeah when was it you realized was there a actor's performance you saw in a film maybe you saw a play or maybe you acted yourself and you were like this is what i want to do i used to be really depressed when i was a, a preteen going into my teenage years uh from when i was in high school i i, I had i had a lot of serious suicidal thoughts uh, and i almost went through with it uh, but it wasn't until my sophomore year that we did the UIL one act play and uh, Roma advanced. It was like the first time Roma had ever advanced in 30 years mm -hmm. in one act play. 
Um, but when they were giving out the awards, they gave out like honorable mention All Star cast, All Star cast, and I didn't I didn't get picked for any of them. And I was just like, well, what about me? <laughs> like I, I I put so much of myself into this character. Yeah. And uh, they did the award for best actress and then best actor from Roma. And I was just like, who? Like who? <laughs> Out of everybody, like who got best actor? And they called my name and I was just like, oh wow, I got best actor. Like I got recognized by Yoel. And that's when I knew that that was my path. That Because that's what I love. I've always loved acting ever since I was a kid. I would reenact whatever was going on on, on TV. I'd pretend I was Batman with a towel around my neck and standing at the edge of the bed pretending to hold a guy over the edge of a building. But is, is there a specific actor you can think of right now that you kind of look for that inspires you? Actors that inspire me, like, are actors that can completely disappear into their roles. Uh, like, you don't see them uh, on screen. Like, you know it's the actor, but they their, their character, like, actually comes to life. Like, Daniel Day-Lewis is one of my favorite actors along with Marlon Brando and Robert De Niro, Joaquin Phoenix, Heath Ledger. I hope for people to one day uh, see me in that, that lineup of other great actors because I, ju I just wanna be able to work with so many talented people and create such amazing stories that people are gonna remember for forever. Great, um, let me see, so Mostly, uh, is there any acting skills or anything that you learned? Maybe not acting, maybe lighting, uh, directing, or d working in the crew? Because you are an actor, but you actually work really hard on set. Yeah, I see you work really hard. You're, you hold the lights, you hold the boom mic. Uh, what's that like, doing multiple things on set? Um, working with so many independent film directors, there's a lot of times where people will just bail. Uh, because they're not getting paid to do the project so they can, they can just like uh, piss off but well, I work with people who are very passionate about film so I'll, I'll, in, I'll be in there I'll pick up a boom mic I'll roll up wires like I'll, I'll, I'll try and be the first one on set and I'll try and be the last one uh, off set just because uh, it making film and television it's it's a crew like it, it, it's not just one person. It's yeah. a lot of people, not only in front of the camera but behind the camera, that that brings like this art to life. Awesome. And is there anything you learn in the process working with Albert? Uh, I'm learning uh, cinematography, and I'm learning to write. Like, I've written poetry before, but I've never written like an actual script. And right now, he's like like pushing me and like write that script because I throw these ideas out there and he's like you need to write that you know write that down and it's just like we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring that to life and I just I believe him and that's the thing like I believe everything that Manny says and I, I believe in Manny. Manny uh, he very much uh, puts a lot of life in the cast and of course also the crew and you know basically everybody's worked really hard put a lot of uh, heart and passion to this project what is it you want an audience member to get out of watching this series? Uh, I want I want them to be like wow that was really good what else have they done what what are they planning on doing uh, maybe if it's like another filmmaker like I want to collaborate with these people and it's like more more fuel for the fire do you have any final thoughts or anything you want to conclude this interview uh... I hope you all enjoy it. My name is Miranda Delano. I play Sister Athena in episode four. How did you hear about this project? Uh, actually, my boyfriend was brought onto the project and um, uh, soon after that, um, Alberto asked me to come on too. Pedro Mendoza, he's playing Petey. Okay, awesome. So he heard about the project and he let you know. And you, are you, and he let you in the project? Did you audition? Uh, no, I didn't audition. Uh, Alberto just, brought me on after I was helping out with some other episodes. Okay, and uh, are you an actress? No. So this is, would you say is this your first time acting? Uh, not my first time acting, but this is definitely my first time acting in like a series. Okay, uh, what's your history when it comes to acting? I was in the Rocky Horror Picture Show uh, Shadowcast. Okay, and could you say there's a big difference working, say, on that? That was a play, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between working on a play like that and working on basically a film set? 
Uh, it's it's definitely very different. Do you, do you, what do you like more? Do you like working in a play or do you like working on a film set? I think um, being on a film set is a little bit easier just because if you get the line wrong, you can always do it again. With, uh, with a play, it has to be perfect. The episode you are in, uh, basically, what's the story about? So it's about the All Mothers, which is a cult of witches, and we're about to sacrifice this little girl who's the chosen one. Um, and suddenly I, my character has a change of heart and she decides that she can't go through with it because she's a little girl uh, and she decides to, to try to save her. What was that experience like? Um, it was interesting. I mean, for me it was really fun just getting to, to kill everybody. <laughs> was it fun working with all the actresses, working with the witches, uh, also the little girl that you were going to sacrifice? Yeah, it was fun working with uh, with all the cast and the crew. Everybody's pretty awesome here. Yeah. What was it like working with the director, Albert? Albert's amazing. Um, he has this eye for, for film and just getting like the right shots. Um, he tells you pretty much exactly what he wants, um, and he lets you play with the with the role a little bit too. Mm, that's good. Have you had experience? Uh, is there a big difference working with a director like him compared to working, say, a director on a play? Yeah, definitely. Um, working with Alberto, he was a little bit more lenient about what he wanted, and again, working with the play, they were really specific about what they were looking for, and just uh, the rehearsals were brutal. Wait, why was that? Uh, just because there were so many with this, there weren't very many rehearsals. Uh, it was kind of just show up, do the shot, and get out. Do you think it's important to do rehearsals before doing anything like a play or a film? Yeah, I think there's there's definitely some value in, in doing rehearsals. What could you, would you say was the most challenging aspect about being a part of the series? The most challenging aspect, probably just getting all the lines down and definitely the, the little bit of a fight scene that I had with the unknown sister. Mm -hmm. uh, just getting that choreographed and getting it right so that nobody got hurt was, was a little difficult. It's actually funny because she actually said she had a really fun time doing that scene. Oh really? Yeah, it's kind of the opposite. It, her, to her with the lines is more challenging, mm -hmm. but the fight scene was fun. Where you, it's kind of the opposite. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Um, and what were you say? Mm, what is it you want an audience member to get out of watching the series? From your experience, seeing how what it's like filming with the crew and seeing the story of the plots, what do you want them to get out of the show? Uh, I just want them to be creeped out. You know, I hope I hope this scares them a little bit. My name is Daniela Martinez, and I play the All Mother. And who is the All Mother? Well, she's the leader of the cult of the All Mothers. Okay. And. And in, the, in this episode, uh, what is it you all are doing? You're basically the leader, and you have like a violent act. You're doing a sacrifice, right? Mm hmm And what was that whole experience like? I mean, I've it, it's something, okay, I don't want to make it sound like I do it, but like the concept and the, like the, just the dark feel to it is something I'm really used to. I mean, I'm a dancer, so a lot of my dances were very, um, very dark, very ritualistic, some may even say kind of satanic looking. <laughs> so like the, the feel for me was kind of natural, like to do it, like and to act it. I don't really do it, but like to act yeah. it, it, it was very natural for me. Wow, uh, how could, why would you say it was like natural? Like your experience in dancing, was there something that you could, was there something that you related to in your real life experience that you could put to the actual character that you're playing? Not like you're an actual witch and you're gonna actually like kill, a, kill somebody, <laughs> but you know, your experience with your talent, your acting. Yeah, like um, I know there was a lot of dances that we did that involved a lot of like rituals and like sacrificing people. So um, just being able to actually portray a character like with words because most of the time it's just with my body it's just dancing we don't really speak but we tell the story but in this case like i was able to actually put words into that character and it was pretty interesting to be like oh my gosh this is something that like i've done before but this time i can actually like i'm there and i'm the leader of it you know so that was pretty cool yeah i believe you can say your experience i think i remember hearing you say it on set one so you had an instructor and you guys were doing like a say a play that had like satanic elements? Yeah, well it wasn't like a play, it was like our dance. Um, we literally all got like into a circle and like 
um, held hands together and it looked like a pentagram so I mean the audience couldn't see it but we knew what it was like we could see it like there in the circle and then we had someone in the middle so oh, wow. that was pretty cool That's crazy. yeah, yeah. And, uh, basically overall uh, so you're a dancer are you also an actress no so this is your first time acting yes <laughs> well, what's that like being a dancer and now becoming an actress um, well, I mean, it was pretty fun. I mean, I didn't have much lines to say, but that's still pretty, like, the experience just being able to portray that character, showing that, like, having that face, you know, because I'm, since I'm the leader, I have to be the most evil, the most, like, sinister, sinister, convincing, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I've played characters before, like I said, like, a dancer, you, you capture a character, you're trying to become somebody to show a story, um, but I mean, it's a totally different playing field when you're actually like in front of a camera and you know saying lines, trying to remember your lines and everything. It, it was it was an interesting experience. Yeah, this is your very first time, say, on a film set. Yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, I know you said a couple things, but ultimately, what did you like about it? I mean, I, honestly, I liked it all. Like it was. I mean, other than the fact that it took a while, but yeah. I mean, that's something that's normal and i mean i'm not used to it because like i said this is the first time i've ever done anything like that yeah. so you know the time was probably something i didn't like but overall the whole experience like everybody was really cool like everybody was really nice and you know i don't yeah, yeah. everybody's really nice so i really like that about it too <laughs> I like oh, that's it. good dude. it's fun being a you know a nice safe environment um let me see so would you say the timing was that the most challenging thing about being on set yeah um, just because I live pretty far from here, so being able to come and then going back and yeah. then getting home really late is not something I like doing. So. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I know sometimes we'll film from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. 5 a.m. Yeah. yeah. But hey, we do it because we like it. Yeah. And is this an experience you would like to be a part of again in future films, especially working with the crew, Alberto, the director, Cameron, the writer? and the actors yeah i would um, it's nice. a fun experience just hopefully maybe it's closer to home but if it's not well i'll try to make it over here because i really did like it so i mean if there's any other projects i'd be happy to be a part of it awesome uh, what is you want audience members to get out of watching the show so it is like from you're seeing the set you're reading the script you're playing the characters uh, what did you get that you want the audience members to get i guess i would want them to get like get get in the feel of like some sort of darkness sinister like moment like i mean i know our episode's pretty dark having the sacrifice and everything and everybody else's episode that's very interesting like how the dark stories all connect so i guess to get that connection to see it so everybody can see it hi my name is yuritzi alexandra and i play the unknown sister in the episode four how did you come to being a part of this series well um, I came in touch with Alberto, the director, um, yeah. by a friend of mine, Isa Rogers, who contacted me and he auditioned me for the role. Okay. So, yeah, right, I'm so super happy to be part of it. Awesome. So this is your first introduction to working with Alberto, the director. You say you knew the writer, Isa? Uh, yes, correct. Okay. Uh, did you guys go to school or did you guys work on a No, we met through, through social media, through Instagram. Oh, okay. Awesome. All right. So you met the writer first. Did you ever read the script before or not? Yeah, I, I mean, I read it before, like, I I, uh, I came, so okay. I mean, I knew I knew what it was going to be about, so I studied it pretty good. <laughs> awesome. Do you have any uh, history working with uh, any directors on a project like this? Maybe not even on a video, maybe, say, on a play? Mm, well, I was part of a small film, but um, uh, not, like, very professionally, you know. I've never really even, like, studied for this, but yeah. I do enjoy it, so hope to be part of more projects like this. Okay, awesome. So this, you could say this is your very first uh, experience on like a professional set. Correct. We're doing everything professionally. We're doing long takes. We have a bunch of lighting. Yeah. And, you know, mostly we have a very we have a very competent director. We have Alberto. What's it like working with him? Oh, well, he's very professional. Uh, he knows what he's doing definitely and he he has a vision. I, I really like I don't know. I I love to meet people who have vision, like visions. Uh, as far as like where they want to get with their project, yeah. so I think he he's pretty straightforward about that. So I like that. Awesome. Uh, what was it like? Uh, what was your overall experience? How can you best describe it? Were you working on episode four, The Witches? You yeah. Know, um, it's really funny because like um, I'm like a person that gets like scared really fast, and I I don't even watch scary movies at all like that much, but 
here I am doing yeah, no. it. But it was really, it was really good, really nice. It went really smooth. Um, I could say that everybody was uh, synchronized, you know, in the same like level as far as like professionalism and like the acting and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, it went pretty smooth, and I loved the experience. Mm -hmm. And how did you learn as an actor? Any well, I think, I mean, I think that director? everybody who acts like or does anything, you keep learning every day, every every single day. You know, you learn something new, but um. I just, I guess I learned of things or stuff that I didn't think I was able to do, you know, like exactly. anything. Um, for example, well, you see, like, I'm, I'm Mexican, you know, 100%. So my English, sometimes it's a little bit bad. So when it comes to acting and just kind of like spitting out some phrases in English, I'm just kind of like, oh, I hope that, you know, my accent doesn't get in the way or something. But, I mean, like I said, when I was filming this episode, I think my 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 english was pretty good and i was able to dominate it you know with like awesome. the phrases and everything the acting overall so would you say that was your greatest challenge on set probably challenge? even though i didn't probably say it or mention it before but yes it's always always my like my biggest challenge in anything because you know the language but as, so, as soon as i got into the character you know it just it just came naturally if you know what i mean so yeah yeah it was but here we are Awesome, man. I guess that was your biggest challenge. What would you say is was your funnest memory, your funnest experience? On the uh, I think it was when. Um... Oh, <laughs> what? I saw the fly. I know, right? Okay, so I just say right. Um, I would say is when uh, me and oh, I forgot. It. What wait, hold on. What's her name? The girl, the the, the other girl that played the the other witch, la de lentes with the glasses. Miranda. Miranda, yeah. Okay, I would say that it was when uh, Miranda and I got into it, like into like a fight, I guess, at the at the end of the of the episode, because I was part of the of the I was part of the um, what's it called the uh, the script. Yes, I was part of the script. So we had to like get into like a fighting scene, and so I was like kind of like oh I don't know how to like wrestle with her. Yeah. It was kind of just. So it was pretty fun though because we we did it real good. So That's overall, cool. that was a pretty tense scene. I would have assumed that would be the hardest thing. To... Yeah, well, yeah, I guess the second hardest thing. So, but I mean, it went pretty well. You know, it went pretty well, and we did it. So awesome. And overall, so your experience working on a set, uh, it's giving you an idea of what the series is overall going to be. Are you looking forward to seeing the final product? Yes, and actually, um, I'm one of those pers. Uh, persons people that doesn't like seeing like the project what the, while they're filming so i didn't really watch a lot of like behind the scenes or like right there in the spot because i like looking at the overall product at the end yeah. so i'm just thrilled about it you know it just gets me that little like like thrill that or curiosity of like okay i wonder how i came out in this scene or i wonder what you know but yeah. you know it just comes down to also like trusting the directors because i'm like well if they said it was a good take i guess it was a good take mm -hmm. so yeah i'm excited to uh, cool. To see it, to see the overall product, and I hope that uh, everybody that watches it enjoys it as much as yeah. we enjoy doing it. Awesome, that's good. And I do know how good though. He, it, <laughs> when he says it's a good take, it means it's good because we'll do it over and over until we finally. Oh get yeah, it. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Do you have any final words? Well, no. I just want to thank everybody, like in the cast, uh, everybody from the crew, um, Alberto, Isa, uh, you know, primarily. <coughs> for the opportunity um, and I hope that I get to work with with everybody again in other projects in the future and yeah I love the experience thank you my name is Aaron Ramos and I play Diego on lies behind their eyes overall what's this experience been like working on set working with the cast and crew working with the director Alberto I would say one word to describe this project is collaborative um, I don't think I've ever been on a set or part of a production um, that has been so collaborative in in ideas, sharing ideas, being flexible with the script and the dialogue, and um, being so uh, I guess free on set. That's good. Have you never had an experience like that before? In a, you know, say a project, maybe an acting school or a play. Uh, no, no, not, not as much as this project. Is acting something you've always wanted to do? Oh, uh, for sure. For sure. Um, I think ever since elementary, high school, 
school, there's always been, looking back retrospectively, it, there's always been something there. So yeah, retrospectively, uh, looking back, um, high school, I was always a class clown. Actually, I think throughout school, I've always been like the class clown and my parents would always get called uh, because I was goofing around and, but looking back at it, I think I always want to be the sort of like center of attention and make people laugh and and just express myself in front of like an audience, you know, or my classmates. Oh yeah, understandably. Uh, I gotta say, um, what was there like a film that you saw or an actor that you know you saw on screen and it just made you be like, you know, I want to be that. I want to have what that guy is doing for a living. Um, a career. I don't think there was any one particular actor but more so um, the whole process of, of acting and the whole process of making a, a movie um, I was always intrigued by the bloopers by behind the scenes uh, footage because movies that I've seen with the outtakes and, the, and behind the scenes it's always looked fun to yeah. do um, and I always thought like man like I'd like to be a part of that one day now how did you get this opportunity to work on this series so it sort of started off with just one script um, which is I believe the first episode that I'm in uh, in the series and um, how did you hear about the, the script? Who sent you the script? The writer, the director? So I was online basically um, putting myself out there. Hey, uh, I just moved back from the valley and I'm looking for work. I'm looking to work with filmmakers and collaborate and, and here I am basically, right? And um, Cameron, AKA Issa, he hit me up with a script and basically asked for my feedback. I said, okay, let me check it out. I read it, um, and I thought it was a really great script. And also considering um, that he was a kind of a, a fresh, you know, green thumb to this whole, uh, I'm sorry, not green thumb, <laughs> uh, green to writing, to writing for, for film. And I said, hey, kudos to you for this, for this, first time script of yours I mean this is great I liked it and um, and I said I if the opportunity comes about I would love to be a part of this script be a part of or play Diego um, and he was you know you know he was I guess appreciative of that yeah that's good and then um, I don't know I guess a week or two went by and then Alberto hit me up and then Cameron hit me up and they're saying hey we're gonna make a web series out of based off of this one script I'm like oh okay and we'd like to be we would like you to be a part of it and I said all right I'm in what experience have you gained or learned you know out of working on this project hmm you know have you seen what it's like to work on a set or you know what it's like to you know actually work with the director on your performance is that a collaborative, collaborative process, or does the director just let you do your thing and see what comes out good? Well, I think Alberto gives me that free reign to um, play with the set, to play with the lines, um, to listen to my ideas. And I love that he shoots in multiple ways, and sometimes he will shoot in ways that he didn't have planned the day before and the day of or in the moments of. Uh, he's like, you know, let's try this out. I'm going to follow you with the camera and you do your thing and all that stuff. And so, to me, I don't feel so boxed in as opposed to other films that I've done. I feel boxed in. I feel um, as if I don't have much freedom to move about in the scene. But everything so far, filming with Alberto, it's always been like, okay, this is what we're doing. You have free reign to do what you want, to say your lines and maybe fix them a little bit and and there you go and so I really do appreciate the 
the freedom that he allows me to play with the character and uh, on set. Uh, what was like the big difference, I guess you could say, from Alberto compared to, I guess, these other people that you're working with? Oh, I, I just been on sets where um, it's it's a simple setup, you know, on a tripod, a camera, you know, set up on a tripod, and it's it's set in one spot and it's set in another spot, and and so and I'm not complaining, but I guess for me, um, I do feel a little bit a little bit boxed in depending on how it's framed, right? Right. Um, with Alberto, he does have shots like that where the camera is on a tripod. For the but for the most part, uh, he has the camera like up on his shoulder, and he's and he's um, he's moving with the actor, as opposed to the actor um, restraining themselves to what how the camera is set up on a tripod and the framing and all that stuff. Now that you've had experience on the set. I'm pretty sure you've seen some clips, some B-roll footage of how everything's coming together. Um, are you excited for the series? Most definitely. Um, I think it's going to be perfect timing, the way it's being released, October, October 31st. Um, and if this is coming out, if this is what we're doing is the sixth episode, then then you already know, right? You already know, and uh, I think it's it's. It's brilliant how Alberto is going to set it up. What is it you're expecting audiences to get out of the series? Like, if you were an audience member and you wanted to see this, or you yeah. saw this and you were like, wow, what is it, you know, how did that make you feel as their audience member? What is it you want people to see or expect? What is it you're looking forward to? Like, is it the performances, the thrills, or the themes that are behind the show? I think... You know, my hope would be for the viewer to be um, immersed in the story, immersed in the conflict that the characters are having, uh, whether it be with someone or in an internal conflict. Um, and I think, ho hopefully, you'll see that in Diego because he is filled with a lot of internal conflict and that he's dealing with. In, in, he tries so hard to not show that on the outside, but um, and also being spooked, you know, being a little bit, uh, I guess, on the edge of your sh on the edge of your seats and wanting to see the next episode to see how everything sort of ties in together. My name is Alberto Ornelas, and. Uh... How I heard about the project, uh, it was created by uh, Issa and me. How did you meet Issa or how did you get in touch with Issa? So, where we live, the film community is pretty small. So what I did was I created a Facebook group called Filmmakers of the RGV and we I linked up with a lot of people there. And that's pretty much how this whole project started. You've had a lot of experience when it comes to filmmaking? Yes. Awesome. Uh, what have you done lately, especially here in the RGV? Uh, well, the recent things I've done that, that uh, have won awards is uh, Life of a Driver and Dream Escape. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, is this your first uh, horror series that you're doing? This is my first web series, actually. Web series? Okay. Completely, yeah. Uh, what's it been like for your first web series? Anything that you've learned <laughs> that you're going to contribute to? Oh, I've, le I've learned a lot. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of do's and don'ts uh, that... Uh, I definitely have learned from this project. A lot of people that I've met that I'm gonna work with them for a lifetime, and so yeah, there's there's been a huge a huge uh, impact. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, what what was the most challenging thing doing working on this series? What was the most difficult or challenging? Getting everybody. The the most challenging thing would have, would probably be getting everybody on the same page. We uh we pretty much uh, greenlit this project pretty quickly. Uh, Issa and I met, he sent me a script, we threw around ideas, within f three weeks we had a whole cast, we had half the series written, and uh, already a trailer and, uh, you know, promotional material, so it was pretty, it was pretty quick, the next person we brought on was Gino, and uh, everybody else after that. Awesome. Yeah. We did have a few, um... 
things that were f pretty frustrating. I believe it was episode three, the flashback. Uh, yes. Everybody showed up except one person. We, we had to change everything. We had a lead actor not show up, and uh, so uh, the way it was rewritten was pretty crazy, uh, but uh, it was done. And uh, we figured out a way to twist the whole thing to make it work in our favor. And that, me personally, I think that it uh, turned out way better than than what it was going to. Oh, yeah. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise that that actor didn't show up. Exactly, yeah. I mean, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Or something like that. Uh, what would you say was the most fun you had on set? Uh, bonding with everyone. Yeah. Bonding with everyone and seeing and being able to push everyone's uh, talent. Uh, that's what I, I love doing. I love trying to push everybody to their to the limit to bring out the greatness. Exactly. And also, it's kind of the, all of us. We kind of we d didn't really know each other before this project, so it was a great opportunity to connect and create something. Oh yeah, I've got uh, a lot of projects going on. I know uh, Pete and I are Pedro Mendoza and I are doing a, a lot of projects together. Uh, Gino and I got a project coming out called uh, Silent Night. Uh, Pedro uh, Mendoza and I got a uh, project Help Knock and uh, Ex Nunc coming out. Uh, Emilio and I, I, Emilio and I are working on a project. Um, there's not a name or title, but the idea is definitely there. And um, I have other films coming out. I know a lot of the actors from this uh, series are going to be a part of that as well. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of experience kind of working in, you know, like a Hollywood-based community and also working very much here in the RGB, like pretty much an independent filmmaker. What is it that makes you stand out? And what's going to make this series stand out from, say, other stuff, especially that's on Shutter and Netflix? Well, I think what makes me stand out is I don't, uh, I don't try to mimic other people's stuff. I try to be my own person and, uh, and shoot my own way. And if it looks weird at the beginning, people will eventually catch on. I know that that's one thing that was told to me is, is my shooting style is very unique. And um, I'm not here to try to be the next Steven Spielberg or, or, anyth or anything like that. I'm here to be, you know, me. You when, you see, when you see my films, you're going to know, you know, it's me. So You don't want to be Spielberg, you want to be the Alberto. Exactly, right? exactly. You put your own awesome. Exactly. Uh, what is it you're looking forward to doing next? I know you said a couple of ideas. Is yeah, we have we have a lot, a lot of projects going on. I know that we just green uh, greenlit, uh, um, what is it, Silent Night, which is going to be a big project, which we're going to have um, Pedro Mendoza, a part of that, uh, a big part of that. And then uh, Ex Noon, Knock, and uh, Help just got greenlit as well. Um, so those are those are all pretty big projects, and then like I said, the one with the one with Emilio is uh, it's right now in the works. So. Awesome. Well, final note: uh, What is it you love the most about directing? Being part of the filmmaking process. Uh, what I love the most about directing is being able to give my audience an escape. You know, I've been in the music industry for years, and a song you can put it on, you can escape for those three minutes. But if I can make somebody feel like a superhero or scared or take them out of the reality for the t next two hours uh, and make their life a little bit easier than I've done my job. Awesome. And finally, to leave off on the series that we're making, what is it you want the audience to get the most out of on the series? Man, the, the talent, the talent, the brilliance, and uh, I, I don't believe there's a show out there like this. And uh, everything that was created from this is, is thanks to the cast and crew. Um, I was able to do my job because of what everybody else did and uh, that's the biggest part so this is the last that I'm gonna say it's a wrap with lies behind their eyes
Hey guys, my name is Pedro Mendoza and I play Petey in Lies Behind Their Eyes. And I just want to thank each and every one of y'all that have been supporting us by watching every single episode that comes out weekly and following up with us on our watch parties and our live chats. And we really appreciate it. Hi everyone, my name is Daniela Martinez. I played the All Mother from episode 4, The All Mother's Curse. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who supported Lies Behind Their Eyes. Thank you for watching every single episode and enjoying the series as much as we enjoyed making it. To anybody that has watched the entirety of this series known as Lies Behind Their Eyes, thank you so much for watching. The cast and crew really do appreciate it. So again, thank you. And I want to say congratulations to everybody that put a lot of hard work to the series. Uh, the writers, the editors, the director, uh, the cast, of course. Great acting all around. Gotta say, everybody that was a part of the series, even people that were just there on set to support everybody, thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Miranda Delano from episode 4 of The Lies Behind Their Eyes, and I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you. Thank you to all of our family and friends and everyone who watched the show. I hope you guys enjoyed our show, and I hope you continue to support this project and other projects by The Bomb TV in the future. Hello guys, my name is Yuritsi Alexandra and I was a part of the project for Lies Behind Their Eyes. I just want to thank everybody who uh, supported the project, everybody who shared it, who saw it, and who talked about it. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, thank you so much for supporting and watching Lies Behind Their Eyes. This is Megan Lopez and I am out. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Gilbert Santana. I play Warren and I'm so one. Just want to say uh, thank you to uh, everyone who's been watching each episode and uh, thank you for supporting us. Hi, my name is Neva Leosan. Thank you for watching Lies Behind Our Eyes. My name is Brooklyn Lopez and thank you for watching Lies Behind Our Eyes. Hello everyone, I played Sean, Lies Behind Our Eyes. I just want to thank everybody that was a part of it, family and friends, everybody that gave me support and love. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it. Hey guys, my name is Leo Fernandez and thank you for watching Lies Behind Our Eyes. Hi, I'm Tasha Ornelas and I played Jess in the last two episodes of Lies Behind Their Eyes. I want to say thank you to all of our fans that supported us, our family and our friends for sharing and caring and it means the world to us. Thank you so much. What's going on everybody? My name is Alberto Ornelas and I really appreciate everybody taking the time to watch the series in each episode and give us the time and the chance to entertain you. We really appreciate it. The, my cast, my crew worked very, very hard to complete this series uh, to bring to everyone and I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you're not a fan, I hope you become a fan. If you are a fan, thank you. Hope you have a good one. And remember, keep those lies behind your eyes.